Hi, and welcome to my ninth tutorial on HTML. Today we're going to take a look at how to create links on your web page. There are a few types of HTML links that you can create. External links, internal links, and links within the same page. External links are the type that links you to another website, and that will be today's topic. It's actually quite simple, so we're not going to use too much time on it, but I will show you how you can make that web page show up in its own window so your viewers don't have to leave your website. When we create a link, we use the A tag. And the A tag defines an anchor. And this creates a link to another website by using the href attribute. And the href attribute specifies the link's destination. Basically, it will look like this, where the URL is the address of uh, the website. And then we have the link text. And now we have to end the A tag like this. I've uh, taken away our example because we're ready to make our external link. So let's write some uh, text first. Here is a link to and then our um, A tag with the href attribute and we're going to make a link to uh, the New York Times so we'll write the URL address here HTTP www.newtimes.com and uh, a slash and now we need uh, the link text which in our case will be the New York Times and then we have to end the A tag like that and then we can continue with the text which is my favorite US newspaper we save it and let's take a look at it and this is how our web page will uh, look here is a link to the New York Times which is my favorite US newspaper and we get this little hand here over our hyperlink let's uh, click it just to see that we actually get to it and we do the New York Times Monday March 7th 2011 let's go back again and back to our notepad the term external is uh, used to refer to links outside of your domain and another way to put it is to say that you're linking to a page that does not belong to your current account or directory system and most of the time it requires that you link to it via an absolute URL which we've um, done here and uh, the link text can either be a word or a group of words which uh, we've used or it could also be an image sometimes we want our audience to be able to navigate to uh, other websites through links we provide like here but we don't necessarily want them to completely leave our site so we let them continue to navigate by opening a new browser window when they click on a link. To do that, we have to add something after our uh, URL. So after com, slash, and quotation mark, we need um, a space and the word target equals new quotation mark and uh, a um, underscore with uh, the word blank and we end the quotation mark file save 
we go to our website again and we click New York Times and as you can see it starts up in a new browser window we have uh, already mentioned um, a reason why you would want to open a new browser window but there are a number of reasons why you shouldn't do this from a uh, usability point of view this method breaks navigation and the most commonly used navigation tool on a browser is the back button and opening a new window disables this function and on a wider more general usability point users really don't want windows popping up all over the place and if they want to open a link to a new window they can uh, choose to do so uh, themselves in our next tutorial we'll take a look at uh, internal links and until next time